Welcome, everybody, to Asgard's Fall Origins. We played this a while ago on Itch. Itch.io. We're back. There's like a whole skill tree now that I don't think was in the demo before, so it's like a later demo than the demo that we did. Vampire Survivor, like... You're gonna like the pixel graphics here. Physical tree. I don't have any points, so I, I, you know, I can't... Oh, look at this. Oh my god, there's... Fire tree, ice tree, lightning tree, defensive tree. These other ones are really small, but... Huh. Interesting. Midgard. It's pretty mid. Guard. And there's all these other ones. There's Niflheim. Jotunheim. Svjotunheim. Heilheim. Venheim. Mishpil. Alright, anyways. Let's go. Let's fight. Jump into this thing. Uh, yeah. No, it's just, it just looks really good, you know? Looks like we have auto firing on, which is totally fine. We're starting with a little sword. It looks like cute as hell, right? Tell me I'm wrong. There's always something beautiful about like a really, really crispy pixel based game. I don't know what it is, but it inspires happiness inside of me. Dagger throw, cooldown 1.5, damage 525, throws three daggers towards random targets. Hoggin and Moonin! Those are the two crows from the Norse mythology. Uh, calls Hoggin and Moonin to your side, damaging enemies around you. So it's probably like the birds in Vampire Survivors. Doesn't sound like they shoot out like a, a volley of, of death though, like they, they do in the other game. Fimbil winter chill. Cast a frost nova around you, freezing enemies. I kind of like the idea of freezing enemies, slowing them down. They already look like they're moving really quickly, so. I'll be hugging till you moan. Nice shot. Yeah, the ice seems good. <laughs> the cooldown kind of bad on it, but maybe we can upgrade the cooldown. Look at that, they just completely freeze in place. Choose your carvings! Hail 3 gen. Bleed chance. Piercing chance! Well, we're not shooting projectiles, so piercing doesn't seem to apply to me. Attack speed. Probably. Can I keep going? No. I, I, I don't know what this is. Am I, maybe I'm paying 75 health for this, is that what that means? Because that's, that's 78 health. Yeah, that would probably kill me. Although, with the health regen, we'll get it back. Go! Yeah, that was my health. I have health regen, though, you morons. Easy peasy. I'm already up to 27. Oh my god, that's actually some serious health regen. These ranged units go down pretty quickly, which is nice, because I would kind of sucked out the... Get those guys. Your health is 300 out of 300. Oh. Oh, you're right. This is health here, the green bar. It's that... Look. Should health be green or should health be red? Do we need to have this argument again? Because green isn't green technically poison? Or is, or is purple poison? It was money, I guess. We're, we're picking up money. I don't know. I didn't see this bar here. I didn't understand. I thought that was my experience, if I was being honest with you. Yggdrasil's Pulse hurls a slow-moving electric pulse towards your cursor position. Shattering ground shatters the ground towards your cursor position. Thor's Wrath calls lightning from the sky, hitting random targets and the surroundings. Red. Red is gems. Green is for Grelf. Thank you. Blood or currency is the red beads, I believe. Purple homing tears. Gray is XP. On the bottom. Chad, yeah, what do you think here? Green feels healthy. Does it? Because I remember reading about green and why there's like no foods that we ever eat that are just green. Like no one dyes their food green and we associate it with like bile and poison and like sewage. But the only green that you find is green apples and like green fruit that are naturally colored green, but then there's like, you know, like like minty things are sometimes green. But you're not gonna get like a green mashed potato. 
Things that are not naturally green, you assholes. I mean, lovely chat. Great, great people. These guys. They're never sassy. I'm gonna go with the Yggdrasil's Pulse. Oh, oh. Well, that was really good. That looks really good. Get this, get this guy. Oh, yeah. Choose your carving. Shock chance, chill chance, fire damage. Chill chance and fire damage. Maybe some armor. Fell, do it all. Give it to me. No one thought I could be this powerful. I feel like the demo is probably gonna end soon. I don't want it to. I'm having fun. Big piggy. Got charge attack. All oh, right. Ember Axe, Fire Nova. Cast Fire Nova around you, uniting enemies. So I freeze them and fire them. Throws two exploding axes towards random targets. Do it. World level has increased. We have healthier ranged enemies now. A golden apple. Uh, it's probably like a full health thing. I don't, I don't have any damage. I've never taken damage in my life. I just choose not to when I play video games. It's a pretty simple concept. Critical strike multiplier. Cold damage. Ignite chance. Oh, I got them all. All of it. World level has increased. I think even the little enemies, they're all getting tougher. So it seems like the normal enemies that are already there get harder when the world increases instead of them sending different enemies at you. Fenrir's Claws brutally slashes through two random targets. Giant's Tooth pierces three random targets with massive spears. Scatty's Ice Arrow shoot three ice arrows towards random targets, freezing them in place. Let's try the Giant's Tooth here. Okay, very short range. You said massive spears. These seem like very average sized spears. No one's gonna get excited about these, uh, these size of spears getting leaked. In a video. I'm getting hurt by these little things that are showing up. Who's casting this? Is it you? I need you to stop. This is just a demo. Spear leak. Dodge chance. Cold damage. Lightning damage. Critical strike. I don't know if there's like a, a negative, like like why I wouldn't just want to do everything. I think I'm just doing so well, I'm getting so much money that I can't afford it all. Is there some boss on the edge of the map that's like casting something on me, or is it just happening all the time? Giant's Tooth upgrade, Fire Nova, or Glacial Sunder. Spikes, frost spikes erupt under the ground at random targets. Let's try the Glacial Sunder. Ooh, that seemed good.
There's dashes? Oh, there's a little spacebar dash. I didn't even notice. I don't know why there's a there's like a timer on it when you can just basically dash again. Is it costing me something to dash before the timer's up? I don't know. It's a total of like so many dashes that you have, maybe. Seems like you get iframes for dashing. Tears anger creates an explosion of lightning around you, hitting all enemies inside of it. Or glacial sunder. Get the ability spawn count by one. Uh, let's try the tears anger. Let's try the new one. Choose an ability to be removed. Oh, we have to remove one. Um, exploding axes. Yeah, I mean, it's hitting a lot of enemies, it's just not doing that much damage. You can always dash, but I... I got an extra dash on that one gem thing. L3 gem, chill chance, cold damage, fire damage. It's definitely getting more difficult now. Kind of wish I had higher ranged abilities. Because it's getting really difficult to get too close to the pack. Um, well, I mean, that would be a higher range one, but I don't want to get rid of some of the stuff I've got now. More spear or more Idrasil's pulse? Let's do the pulse. So many enemies. Line them up. That shock ball, I think, is probably doing the most damage here. If I can line them up like this, left to right, get another shock ball off. Look at it go through them. Twenty-one percent attack speed. More dash. What's going on? All these little attack things. Is there a boss in there? Think of these fairy things on the outside. I need to take those guys out. I need to get more upgrades here. 
There we go. Gosh, we're not getting these very frequently anymore. I'm going to change the uh, title. Asgard's Wrath Demo. Reverse Bullet Hell. There we go, YouTube. Giant's Tooth, Fiery Rune is not an upgrade, and Gungnir Gung throws Gungnir at your mouse position, exploding three times at impact. You know what? Maybe. Instead of freezing them in place now, maybe. Something with range. Uh oh, that looks like a boss. Gungnir is like a spear that I throw on the ground and it does shock damage around it. Seems fair. Can I hit that thing when it's purple on the ground? Doesn't seem like it. Do I hit the head then? I hit the head, okay. Don't know what that purple does down there. Maybe I want to be inside the purple ring? Probably not. Just like if that's it trying to do damage to me, it's kind of pathetic. Like I'm taking crazy pills. Huts forgot to close the pole. All, uh, did we beat the meat? Yeah, I can. I can do that. My bad. Winners have not been given their their points. Is that all you care about, chat? Winning points. I thought you were here for the stream. I thought you're my friends. This guy's healthy. Holy moly. I'm just here for those points. I'm in the purple. It's got like down arrows. Or oh, those up arrows, because they're like up. Maybe it's like buffing. It seems like maybe it's buffing enemies. They're little like sword icons. Giving them berserk or something. Gosh, they really punish you though. By, by not allowing you to level up past the whatever level that was like at 17 we're just not we're not moving anymore the experience fall off holy moly Less ads, though. I'm happy about that. When does the Deep Rock Galactic Survivor come out? That demo was like forever ago. So I'll probably play the crap out of that. That one was fun. Less ads is good, but it also means a lot less experience being dropped, so... I'm barely gonna make it to 18. This just seems... I mean, we don't have any of the meta progression, right? Of course, we can't expect to get uh, a win in our first try. We can't expect the first try to go that well. I still think that if you're gonna have a game with meta progression, you need to make the game more. Give us more things to do when we get more powerful. Instead of just saying, here's the game you're gonna do horribly until you play it for about 60 hours. That's, that's not fun. 
for me. I like it like like how Ed did Isaac. You're you're you know, obviously there's like meta progression, but not really like stat based meta progression in Isaac. But like here's the game, and then you you you're getting better. So now here's the game. Now here's the game. Now here's the game. AI Tim video will haunt my dreams for a long time. Perfect. Fafnir's breath. Fiery rune. Place a rune at your position, causing an explosion on enemy contact. I'm gonna just go for the upgrades, I think. Love the video, it was great. Halfway. Beep, boom, beep, beep, boom, beep, boom, boom, beep. Demand an encore. Tim AI. It's a lot of negative comments. There's a lot of people that were pushing back against it. Surprisingly, a lot of people loved it, of course. But more people than I thought were uh, against it. Thought it was really boring, really stupid, didn't like the skibbity and the mom jokes. Or genuinely annoyed by Tim to the point where they didn't want to watch the video. Um, despite the fact that that was literally the joke. That Tim's annoying. It's like... Literally the point of why Tim exists. This whole thing. It's like we mage 40 months. It seems like the world getting tougher is not a wave-based thing, it's a time-based thing, so if you uh, don't go fast enough, it's just gonna outrank you and you're gonna die. Oh, the video was funny. I was laughing my butt off when I saw the edits. I didn't know Blue was gonna turn him into an Eldritch Horror, as chat called it. But it, it definitely worked, especially when it started, like, freaking out. Doing weird things. The weird noises. I love the biblically accurate Tim Loden eyes. Biblically accurate Tim Loading eye. We're almost done. Am I getting too greedy? Finish it! Splurt. Critical strike multiplier 21%. Ignite chance 5%. Max health 19. Bleed chance 9%. Send it. If I knew what the hell I was doing, I would probably, like, you know, re roll some of those things and try to go for the blur, blur, blur build. All right, we're gonna get super overwhelmed now because of how long it took me to kill that boss. And so the game decides that you're done and you need to work on your meta progression. Beep boop beep, beep boop beep, beep boop beep. Can't shake him. I need to, I need to kill these things.
You think if I don't spend some of these red gems, we'll be able to spend that on uh, perma upgrades? I didn't see if uh, it took a specific currency. <coughs> oh my god, an upgrade. Tears Anger. Increase the ability damage modifier by 30%. That's the, what, the lightning circle around me? Explosion of lightning around you, yep. Have you played Goobies? Brother, where have you been? Goobies was our jam. We almost played that every stream. And I made a YouTube video on it. So much Goobies. I have a Goobies tattoo. No, I, I don't really. I should. Hots is literally the Goobster. I invented Goobies. No. Uh, I want more content from Goobies, but that's the thing about Goobies. It's kind of just like perfect being its own small contained little game. You can easily ruin a game like that by throwing in too much stuff. <coughs> Description. <laughs> mm. Isaac Tattoo win. <coughs> Should I get a Montezuma's Revenge on my butt? Still waiting for Huts to play Bio Prototype. Is that the weird one with the, like, the raccoon? Do Godhead on your forehead. Rock bottom surgery. Sleep tattoo of toddlers crying. I'm thinking of bio mutant, aren't I? Give me the whole thing. There's gotta be a reason not to take everything, right? Why even give me an option when I can afford it all? Ow. Maybe I can lock some of them in and then re-roll the ones I haven't locked. This game's never gonna end. I can't kill them because I'm not strong enough. They can't kill me because they suck. And I'm a god gamer. Distant shadow lurks in the something something. Um, Tears anger is the shock. Glacial sunder, decrease ability cooldown. That's the frost spikes that come up. Damage multiplier on my spears. I feel like I'm not close enough to them. Let's just beat the game first round, and then uh, we won't have to play it again. No need for a second round. I miss the days when we could one-shot the uh, range units. 
I wouldn't mind having like some sort of maybe active ability on my right or left click here. Steam refund challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna refund this uh, this demo. Get my money back for this. You made a real shit of peace with this demo. Two for mental damages. Collecting radius. That sounds nice. Cold damage. Max health. And see if I can reroll the one that's not in. Okay, it's the whole thing gets rerolled. Alright. Okay. Regen, cold damage, shield ch chance, and critical strike multiplier. Wouldn't mind at some point in time different enemies. Getting a little same same at this point in time. It says what? Wave 19? Is that what that skull means? Or is that world level 19? I hope you're having a great day. Having a pretty okay day. Thanks for asking. Same world, I guess you need a new world. I guess, yeah, it did say there's gonna be like... 12 worlds beyond the demo, so... Is it the same boss? the same boss. Maybe you just go until you die and there's no, like, official ending. I feel like it should have ended after the boss. That would have been a nice little, uh, uh time to stop. It says Midland. But, I suppose, you know, it's like a new game plus, kind of. I think the only one that was an upgrade there. By new game plus, I mean, like, uh, Almost like a rerun of sorts. Like, just keep going, keep looping, get more money. Endless mode. Built in. I'm just too good. Game can't take me down. Don't stop me now, having such a good time. Seem to be pretty skibbity toilet at this game. Game Shark and wrap this up. Nee, 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 Getting hungry. Where's my protein ice cream? Can I hire one of you guys full time to make me ice cream when I stream? Those little goblins, they do look like little goblins, don't they? Always gotta be killing the goblins, huh? They are cute. I have an ice cream maker. 
I already have the ice cream maker. You just need to use it. I got the new creamy deluxe. At Costco. I've got two pints already in the freezer. Like I was saying, one of them is my protein shake that I'm going to try turning into ice cream. Which sounds delicious. It's a cookies and cream protein mix. With whole milk and a little vanilla in there. Vanilla extract. And then the other one is a guava lemon green tea. That I'm going to try to make into a guava lemon green tea sorbet. Or Italian ice, I don't know. Is there something in a sorbet that makes it a sorbet? Don't look up how natural vanilla is made. You're not talking about the uh, beaver buttholes, right? Because that's not natural vanilla. That's a vanilla substitute. Sorbet is without milk. What is it with milk? It's natural, though. Vanilla beans are natural. They're a bean. Beavers exist. Gelato is made with yogurt. Oh, okay, so... Gelato, yogurt... Um, sorbet... Gelato without the the dairy. Beaver butt is natural. Fair point. That that's not natural vanilla though. Natural vanilla is natural vanilla. Beaver butthole is natural fake vanilla. Natural vanilla substitute. You friggin' degenerates. Go to school. Which one do you have in your powder? Wouldn't you like to know, you perv? I don't see that's any of your business. Oh, it's gotta be beaver butthole? Oh, sh shoot. Someone should have alerted your mom. Oh. I crossed the line there, Huts. I'm sorry. Yeah, you did. I got struck because of that. I'm reading chat. Wasting my time and life. Mm. I got hit again. I just want to beat the boss one more time. Oh, it says dash in the middle. I didn't even see that. Ta tab for stats. In all honesty, it's like a sort of darker green on a green background. It's like there's something grayed out. I don't even pay attention to it, right, on a menu list. Why would you? It's essentially a grayed out thing. Who saw a beaver butthole and said, let me extract this essence? Oh, probably the animal butthole extractors united of Great Britain. They've tried all the buttholes. You got I mean, if one's good. I'm fine changing the subject, by the way. Probably trappers when they were skinning. I feel like there's a comedy sketch somewhere in there. Ahem. <coughs> This turned into a Zay Frank episode. It already was. Zay Frank was the original one talking about beavers. Whirl slash. Rapidly whirls your sword around you. Uh, no, no to the close stuff. Idrisil's pulse has been a really, really good one. The laser ball that we shoot out. Idrisil's W for Wumbo. It's been pretty nice.
Can we just give up after we fight the boss, you think? We did it! I'm tempted to just throw in the towel. The game can't kill me. Literally too strong for this. <coughs> it says quit, though, like... I don't want to lose... Well, maybe I'll just run into people and die. Because I don't want to lose my progress. I don't want them to not count the run. Game over. Yeah, Yggdrasil's pulse. Ooh, Glacial Sunder, actually. Number one. No one expected it. Yggdrasil's pulse, pretty good. Uh, Gungnir was pretty okay. That one was the thing that I shot down in the middle that was doing like a little AoE. Um, we got that very late, so I'm actually surprised that it, it took, what, third place? Not bad. Fimble Winter's Chill. I think we might have ripped that one. I think we got rid of it. That was the one that froze enemies around me. Sword Slash. Horrible damage. Ember Axe. We got rid of that one early. Alright. Just keeps going and going and going. Thanks for playing Asgard's Fall. If you enjoyed the game, please consider wishlisting on, on Steam. I think I might have already... Wish listed. I would like to try the full version. That one, you know, was was very demo. None of my buttons. There we go. And none of my buttons are working today. Cool, cool. Do I get to do stuff in the skill tree? Yeah, points five. Embrace raw strength to crush foes in close quarters. Plus five physical damage. Critical strike chance. Critical strike multiplier and attack speed. What are these big ones? 0.5 movement speed for every bleeding enemy? Interesting. It's with your basic attack, reduce the cooldown of a random ability by 0.2 seconds. Damage to enemies below 25% health is increased by 25%. Let me go with that one. That sounds really good. 2% bleed chance does not sound enough to gain 0.5 movement speed for every bleeding enemy. More attack speed. More attack speed. I could have gone into the lightning too. That would have been really good because the lightning was the best that we had there. Let's just jump back in for one more and see how, if we can feel the difference of the attack. Attack speed. It does feel better. Now we're one-shotting these guys. I think that we might have not been one-shotting them before. Not those guys, though. Yeah, it feels way faster. Oh, this is the mine. Cool. The mines, it seems like that'd be a solid choice considering I'm constantly kiting them. 150, I can't. Anyways, we can stop. We'll uh, check that out when it fully comes out. I highly recommend you guys play the demo. It seems like it's full enough that you could have a good time with it, especially for it being free to play. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.